Hi, and welcome to number three of Discovering Dataflex with Johan Broadfeld at Front IT. And this time we have this view that we created in the last video. And now we are going to make some lookup lists and we're going to make an auto increment on the ID table. And uh, let's start with the auto increment. So we want to auto increment the ID here. So we want to change the data dictionary setting here to auto increment. But in order to do that, we need a system table that can keep, keep track of our uh, current ID. So let's create that table. There you go. And we have a product ID, which should be numeric 12 as in the product table. And this system table should change this to true df is system file so the system knows that this is uh, system data we save that and we go back into the data dictionary of the product table and now when we select auto increment we can actually select the system table and product id there you go and now if we run this project we should be able to in the product view just create a new product and press save and now we could look this product up. And there you go. And we could clear all and we could add a new product. Save. And we should now have number two. And we can go into our system table and have a look at the data. And it says product ID is number two. And that's just what we want. So that's working. Now, we would also like to be able to look up the number and name in a lookup list. Because if we have a lot of products, We it will be annoying just to click back and forth like this. So we need some kind of lookup where we can search for specific products. And let's do that. We go to the workspace and you can see that you can create a web dialog. And we should do a web lookup wizard. And we choose the product table. And let's call it product web lookup. And we want the number, name, and next, 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 finish. And here we have our lookup table. And since we have that, then it will automatically be included in our product. So if we restart the project, you can see that in our view, we have these buttons here where we can directly select which product we want. We can also search for a product and it will automatically find that. And that's because we have the index correctly set up and uh, are leveraging our data dictionaries to make this connection. And we really don't want to see the ID up here. 
uh, in this case because we only want the number name and en code so uh, let's go into the product and the id and we can just press ctrl k in order to comment all this out and now you can see we have the form here and if I recompile our project now we don't see the ID but we can still create a new product and save it yes. And if I look up here, I should be able to find this product. So that was all for this video. Welcome back in our next video, where we are going to take a look at some more details on uh, more advanced views. Bye for now.